Hi everyone, welcome back to GA Online Teaching and this is a Wednesday, meaning that today is grade 10 and grade 11 and we are going to focus on simultaneous equations. Now simultaneous means things that are happening at the same time. Now over here, I want you to remember one thing about simultaneous equations. It's a lot of easy work compiled together and that is why learners get confused. confused. That's the main thing. Okay, so over here I have two unknowns in each of these equations. Equation number one and equation number two. So I'm first going to solve equation number one because that's the easy one to do and my answer is not going to be a value but it's going to be an algebraic expression and this is what I mean. Firstly, I'm going to solve for x over there. So x is equal to what happens on the right hand side is 5 and when I take this over it becomes negative 2y. Now whatever this is x is equal to 5 minus 2y, I'm going to substitute it into my second equation and I'm going to solve for the unknown value. So, back to equation number 2, x minus y. What is x? x is this over here. So wherever I see x, I write 5 minus 2. So therefore, 5 minus 2y minus y is equal to negative 1 and then now I solve. What's my unknown? My unknown is my y value over here. So minus 2y minus y is negative 3y and negative 1. If I take the 5 over it's going to be negative 5 and that will be equal to negative 6. Now, what am I solving? I'm solving for the value of y. Divide by negative 3 both, both sides and y is therefore equal to 2. So, now remember I still need to calculate the value of x. So, I take my y, I substitute it either into my first equation, my second equation, or this part over here. You'll get all of them the same answers. So, let's take the first equation. So, x therefore x plus 2y and what's the value of y we see that it was 2 and that must be equal to 5 so 2 times 2 is 4 if i take the 4 over it becomes negative 4 and therefore x is going to be equal to 1 so what can you tell me that the value of x is 1 and the value of y is 2 and I sometimes teachers want you to write it in a coordinate so the x is 1 and y would be 2 more or less 5 to 6 mark question on to example number 2 so I have again two equations over here now I'm going to use the second one and I'm going to solve for x. The reason I'm not going to use the first one because I always want to use the coefficient of x to be 1 imaginary. If I use 3, I'm going to run myself into fractions. But if I use 1, I'm going to get rid of the fractions and I'm not going to be able to get to that. I'm mumbling over there, but, but that's fine. So, I'm going to solve for x. So x is equal to 14 i'm going to take the 4y over and it's going to become negative 4y now wherever i see x in my first equation i'm going to substitute what is x and remember it's not a value so therefore 3 multiplied by whatever x is and just on top of that we found x to be 14 minus 4y right and that's plus y 2y and that is equal to 12 and now all i do is i solve for y take my answer of y and substitute to any one of those three over there so i have 14 over here 14 multiplied by 3 is going to give me 42 3 multiplied by 4y is negative 12y plus 2y and that is going to be equal to 12. So I solve like terms, normal equation, negative 12y 
plus 2y is equal to negative 10y. And if I take this 42 over over there, it's going to be 12 minus 42. And 12 minus 42 is going to be equal to negative 30. So how do I solve for y? I divide by 10 both sides and therefore y is going to be equal to 3. Now whatever y is, I substitute it in any equation to solve for x. So now I take 3 and I substitute it into any equation. I'm going to use again the second one because it's the easiest one for me. So therefore x plus 4y which is 3 uh, is equal to 40. Therefore x is equal to 4 times 3 is 12. And 14 minus the 12 would be equal to 2. And therefore the point, I'm going to write it here on top because I don't have any space. 2, which is x, and y, which is equal to 3. If you want to double check your question, substitute your x into here, substitute your y value into here, and you should get the answer of 12. The same thing will happen if you substitute into your second equation. And with that being said, thank you very much for watching. This is GA Online Teaching, and I'm out.